see me in my glasses. <laughs> it's so silly. What if I do that? Oh, I look like a mole. <laughs> put it back on uh right anyway today's video i feel like i've done this kind of video a lot before like the gel polish with the sprinkle of acrylic on to make like an embossed look however um looking over instagram and like nail stuffs at the moment it's, it's kind of all i'm seeing so i don't know whether it's become a bit of a trend at the moment but i thought you know what if it is one more set wouldn't hurt so i've incorporated some bunny ears to make it look a little bit more eastery and uh we've done like a we've added a crystal arch and some glitter so we kind of you know mix it up a little bit i don't know anyway i hope you like it i really liked how they turned out in the end but as i said i'm a big fan of um acrylic sugared gel polish designs so i think i would have liked it anyway um but i hope you do too um if you do don't forget to like and subscribe maybe but if you don't then don't worry <laughs> anyway let's go on with the design okie dokie artichokey <laughs> there's a lady on uh, an australian lady on tiktok who makes cakes and when she starts her videos she says okie dokie artichokey and it's really fun i don't know why i just love it anyway right i've got my madam glam colors i've got uh divine queen of glam lily scent and goddess of spring you can still get 50 percent off you've got a couple of days left of the 50 percent off code natmug50 will save you 50 percent off after the 1st of april it will drop back down to natmug30 so make sure that you grab yourself a bargain before the 1st of april yes that's the one right on to the nails i'm applying one coat but i will cure them for 30 seconds and then i will go ahead and apply two coats or do i i can't remember i might have only done one i can't remember anyway i found this in my drawer i forgot i had it and i don't know why it was in my drawer i think i thought it was a top coat it's a gel polish with little black speckles in and it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it as well and this turns any gel polish color into an instant mini egg so i thought right i'm going to add it to these nails i'm only going to add it to three because the nail that i'm going to put the bunny ears on i'm going to leave it plain and uh, yeah, I was, like, I was trying to spread the speckles out all over the nails. I felt like I had too many speckles on the yellow one. So I was trying to spread the speckles out and I was faffing for ages. So we're going to fast forward. But that's what they look like once I stuck them into the lamp. Then I'm going to take Nail Sugar's Rainbow Drops Glitter. I'm obsessed with this at the moment. Oh, I love it so much. You can save 10% at Nail Sugar. You can save 10% off at Nail Sugar using my code NatMug10. I don't know what the right word is. Anyway, look, I've put a little bit of base coat onto my palette and I'm using Madame Glam's application brush. And where I want the glitter, I'm going to rub on a little bit of base coat. And I'm going to, again, this took me so long. I don't know why I have to faff. But I was like, I was being really particular about where I wanted the glitter. But... On this nail, I'm going to have flowers in this corner. So I thought, well, underneath the flowers, we'll add a little bit of colour with the, the glitter. And then I'm going to do some flowers down in this bottom corner, opposite the top right. It's going to be the bottom left. However, glitter on this set is completely optional. You don't have to add the glitter if you don't want to. You don't even have to add the black speckly gel polish. You can just you can just do it plain i just thought it would be nice because why not i'm also going to add some down at the bottom here this is the nail that we're going to have the bunny ears on which is why i kept it plain doesn't that look like a little glitter face now two big eyes and a, a little mouth <laughs> ah, silly billy nats i don't know anyway once again once i'm happy with the amount of glitter that I've got on the nail, I will pop it in the lamp and give it a 30 second cure. And because it's in that base coat, the base it was gonna cure into the base coat, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And then also I decided to add a layer of base coat over the top of the nails that I'd put the glitter on, just because when I come to top coat them, it's just gonna help smooth the nail. There's nothing worse than bumpy nails. Oh, I can't bear it. 
and also I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat on this set. I do velvet matte top coat all of the nails, however you only see me top coating those glitter nails at the moment because I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything else to the other two nails at this point, but you can go ahead and top coat them both as well. Then onto my palette, I'm applying a little blob of each of the colours that we've used on our nails and we're going to use these to create the flowers. So to create the flowers, I've got my dotting tool and I'm just adding dots to the nails where I want the petals to go. So that's going to be our petals and I'm going to grab my detail. Where have I gone? Oh, I'm grabbing my detailer brush. Yes, yes, I am. Right, so all you do is you literally just bring the petals into a point. The point's obviously going to go in the center of the flower. <laughs> just in case you didn't know that, but I'm sure you did. And then, yeah, just bring all three. I really want to say four, but there's only three there. All three of the petals, just bring them into the center. Make sure they don't touch because you need to have a little bit of room between each of the each of the petals and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing on this side with the yellow I decided to do a purple flower and a yellow flower because we've got the the pink is the the background is pink and we're obviously going to use green we're only going to use the green for the for the leaves oh yeah and then what you want to do is before you cure it you just sprinkle it with your acrylic powder if you don't have acrylic powder you can use like a clear dipping powder if you don't have a clear dipping powder you could use all right look and you see when it goes shiny if the gel polish goes shiny can you see you start to go shiny again that means you've got to add more glitter because if you cured that now that would be tacky so you just need to add more glitter and one not glitter acrylic once it stops going shiny once it stays completely matte then you can pop it in the lamp if you don't have acrylic powder or dipping powder if you've got a really, really fine glitter, you could use a really, really fine glitter. Obviously, though, it might sparkle. Like, unless it's... Make sure it's kind of like a clear iridescent glitter and it'll probably look fine. Um, but it's... For this look, it's best done with, like, a, you know, acrylic powder or, or a dipping powder. But as long as they're clear. Um, if you... If you use a coloured powder, obviously, it'll change the colour of the color of the petal you know what i mean and then look i'm just adding on a green just a green leaf here and again this leaf is going to be like the same shape as a petal but it's a leaf and then just do the same thing with your and then pop it in the lamp and then just brush off the excess glitter and then that no not glitter i keep saying glitter it's acrylic powder <laughs> all right okay and then we're gonna do the same thing on this nail however like i said before we're only going to put the flowers in the top right corner and the bottom left and i'm going to be brave and add them all at once uh, well i'm not going to do the leaves i'm just going to do the flowers so um what color is this one this is, oh yeah this is the green background yeah so on this one because this is a green background color on the base of our nail is green i'm going to add some purple flowers some pink flowers and some yellow flowers to this but i will obviously still add the green leaves but just i'm not doing any green flowers there we go so i've added on all my dots and then using my detailer brush just bringing all of those petals to a point making sure I have got a small gap between all of them. I love doing this, this design, this kind of design. I just love it. Oh, my cushion's coming off my chair. I got a memory foam cushion for my chair. Um, I bought, had to buy a new chair and it's not the most comfiest. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got a memory foam cushion and it makes it, makes it a bit more comfy, but I wish it was a bit of a thicker cushion. <laughs> it's for my big bum there we go keep going and then you just finish the finish off with the purple one but you can do it in any order you like if you're not very confident you can do like one flower at a time um obviously that will add time onto your service but you know you do do what you feel more confident in doing <sighs> 
where have I gone? Oh yeah, and then I just look, I've decided I was being super brave here and I added the uh I want to say yellow, but it's green. My head is not with it today. I went to pets at home and honestly the lady was like the she said, oh, the because I was obviously the first one there. And she said, oh, the till's a bit slow. To t the first one's always a bit slow. <laughs> Meaning the transaction. And I literally, honestly, she could have been talking about me. <laughs> That's how literally how I feel today. Anyway, yeah, look, sprinkle it on. And again, wait until it stays matte. And then you can pop it in the lamp for... I like to cure twice when I do this. So obviously gel polish... Uh, Madden Glam's gel polish takes 30 seconds. I will give it a 60 second cure if I have sprinkled it with the acrylic powder. And then that is that nail done. I will do a full nail of flowers on the yellow nail. I believe I do it on the yellow nail. Um, but right now I am taking my white gel paint. This is the Madden Glam gel paint. And I'm just going to add two bunny ears to this nail. One, I'm going to make this one bigger. Um, but one does end up a little bit bigger than the other, but I didn't mind because it kind of, it kind of gave it, uh, character. I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah. If you are going to make one, oh, okay. hang on. I've just put Netflix on. If you are going to make one slightly bigger than the other, don't make it too much. Can you see that, that one here is a little bit smaller than the other one, but it's, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Pop it in a lamp for 60 seconds. And then what I decided to do, can you see I've top coated these nails and I've put flowers on this yellow one. Oh, I love them so much. I love these. I love it. I love it. Right, I've broken my dotting tool. This is my Madame Glam dotting tool. The little dollops come off the end. Um, you know, when I was making those bubble roses, well, I broke yet another dotting tool. Madame Glam are going to hate me. <laughs> but I decided I'm not going to throw it away because sometimes it's nice to have something on a, you know with a you know i can still use it and i won't break it again if i make bubble flowers but i decided to just add some little white dots like through the flowers this gel paint will cure shiny as well so i just thought it would tie in with the ears because the ears are white and i haven't put white anywhere else i mean you don't have to do this this is just like kind of optional thing a bit like with the glitter but i quite like the glitter underneath and I quite like the dots as well. So I'm glad I've done that. You don't have to put many on. And then there we go. That's going to be that one done. And then lastly, just two or three on the bunny ear nails. Obviously, you're not going to put many on this one because there's not that many flowers. And then once you're done, throw them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then we're going to grab some crystals. So these one, these are all Preciosa crystals from Crystal Parade. These ones are called Alexandrite. They are purple. They're like lilac. Um, they they look clear, but they're not. They're lilac. And these ones are, a, are like a pastel green, a soft green. They th The colour's not showing up very well. I feel like my light is perhaps too bright. Um, these ones, oh, by the way, the green ones were called Chrysolite. These ones are called Jonquil. You can see these are a nice soft yellow. And then I've got Light Rose, which is a, like a nice soft pink. I went with soft colours because we're going spring. And then I'm using the, I don't think I showed you, but this is the Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. I've just made a little bit of a, uh, an arch. Normally, I do like it. I don't know what I do normally, but I just made a bit of an arch going around the ears. Now my my Alexandrite crystals are quite big. I don't have any little ones, so I started with the purple one in the middle, and then I you can't see because I'm out of blooming shot again, and it's blurred. But going down the arch, I've just kind of like alternated between the green, the yellow, and the pink. And as we get towards, like, the lower we get down the arch, the smaller the crystals have become. There we go. Sorry about that. Terrible camera skills. Um, and then I decided to add in some, where there was, like, any excess gem glue, um, crystal fix. I did add some silver caviar beads. I ended up having to add some more um crystal fix to there we go to add on to finish off the 
the caviar beads but that will go in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I added some caviar beads just to the center of the flowers as well I just thought that was quite cute and I'm going to show you a close-up now so that's them finished if I was going to do another nail I would have probably done a plain nail of another color I don't know what but there we go I hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free websites and discount codes will be below don't forget you can get 50% off Madam Glam for the, another couple of days using my code natmug50 god bless love you all and I will see you in the next one love you bye